This week, we are looking at the artwork of an American pop artist named Jeff Koons. Jeff Koons is known for his larger-than-life sculptures of everyday objects, such as balloon animals and even Play-Doh. In 2019, Jeff broke records by selling his rabbit sculpture for $91 million. Now it's time to create a masterpiece of our own, and for this project, we are going to take inspiration from Jeff's balloon dogs. I'm going to start with Sharpie right away, but you can draw with pencil first. My biggest tip would be to practice ovals on a separate sheet of paper if you're having trouble. Start by creating some ovals for the body and for the legs. To help your dog look more 3D, I recommend creating a curved line right next to that oval you created for the leg. You're going to repeat this for the front legs as well. Get creative with the shape of your dog. Maybe your dog has really tiny legs and a super long body, or a really short tail, or a long tail. Maybe his ears are a little bit curved, so get creative with the shapes. Now I'm creating the neck for my dog. So again, if you want a tinier dog, make a smaller neck. For the nose of the dog, I'm going to create another large oval. And at the end of this, I'm going to create a little triangle shape, and this represents the end of the balloon after you tie it off. I'm going to create two tall ears on my dog, so just like the legs, create another curve next to that first ear, and there we go. Really the key to this is drawing the oval shapes to keep it looking like a balloon. For the tail, we're going to make it look like we didn't blow up the balloon all the way, so add a really tiny oval up at the top. Now it's time to add color. You can use any materials you want for this. I'm starting by using a marker to create a dark shadow. So on one side of each balloon, I'm creating a curved line around where I want the shadow to be. So use a dark marker or a crayon and press really hard. Now I'm going to use my um, watercolors to create the light purple shade, but you could also use a crayon for this part. I'm going to go over the top of the marker. Now when you're doing this, you want to leave a white edge on the opposite side of the shadow. So be careful to leave a little white spot on the edge. The good thing about using watercolors and markers is the markers are going to start to kind of bleed and blend together with your watercolors to create that shadowy look on your balloon. Again, do not forget to leave some white. This will create those shiny balloons just like Jeff Koons. Don't worry if your watercolors go over the edge a little bit. I'm going to be cutting mine out later on. If yours stay nice and neat, you can leave it as is. This part is optional, but I'm creating a cityscape for my dog to be displayed outside. Jeff Koon's artwork is displayed in galleries, but also outdoors, so you can decide if you want to create a space that your artwork is being displayed. Otherwise, you could just create a design and glue your dog to that. The other option will be to not cut out your dog and just decorate the background of the paper or leave it plain. Completely up to you. Something I recommend doing is when your dog is dry, use a white crayon, oil pastel, or even white paint 
and really brighten up those shiny parts on the balloons. This will really help them pop. Your dog will look a lot more 3D and definitely a lot like Jeff Koons' shiny balloon sculptures. You really need to cut your balloon dog out neatly and I recommend cutting off large chunks as you go. The neater you cut it out, the more three-dimensional your dog will look on the background. I really encourage you to get creative with this project. If you look up balloon animals and you see another animal you'd like to try, you are more than welcome to go for it. So have fun and I cannot wait to see what you post on the Padlet.